Close your eyes. Good. Now don't run. Just take a deep breath. They're trying to feed off your fear and weakness. Don't let them. They love it when their prey runs, so please don't run. Listen, I'm not one of them, and they've taken too many people already, so listen to my advice. The last few people who didn't are either dead, missing, or insane. And you look like a good person, so I don't want any of that to happen to you. Liar. Deceiver. Just focus on me. They won't be able to hurt you if you don't pay them any mind. They'll say things to you that aren't true, and to piss you off or fool you. Don't let them get you mad. And don't say a word to them. That's the worst thing you can do. There's a safe spot where I am. And the only way that you can make it there is to listen to me and to stay calm. Just stay calm. And listen to what I have to say. They won't be able to hurt you if you do. Okay. Open your eyes. If you see any goat-headed humanoids or skinny corpses crawling along the ceiling, just close them again. Now you'll have to walk down a couple hallways, but you'll make it. I know you will. What's your name? That's a nice name. I tell you mine, but I forgot. I know it starts with an I, but I can't quite put my finger on it. This is the Kodiak Island Sanitarium. Not that many people know about this place. Are you some thrill-seeker or historian? Maybe you just came in here to avoid the snowstorm. That's the most likely case. Oh, m make it right here. It's a little bit of a walk to the office where I am, so I'll give you the rundown on this place, and what exactly is going on here. The story happened sometime in the 1910s or 20s. I'm not too sure, and I don't remember those details that much. I was a medical student from, well, Somewhere in New England, I think. Rhode Island, or New Hampshire. Anyway, I was sent here to study this place and report my findings. This place was owned by a very rich doctor, and when tuberculosis started to become more prevalent, a sanitarium. I was sent to study this place, and what I found was terrible. The patients were abused in many ways and were often neglected. Patients from both the asylum and the sanitarium kept going missing, and I was curious to see what was happening. I ventured into the basement. Oh, oh, t take a left here. As I was saying, I ventured into the basement and found, well... Well, I found out he was experimenting on the patients. I, I could have gone up. I could have ran and told everyone in the outside world that this was all going on, but I was just too curious. I found a room with blood all over the walls and symbols I had never seen before, as well as writing that I had never seen before, too. There were lit candles and effigies of monstrous beings all over the room. I heard a noise, and I turned around, and I saw the doctor, and he rushed towards me with a rag in his hand. I tried to fight him, but he was able to put the rag over my face. I then woke up, chained to the floor, and in the middle of some strange symbol. He started to pray to his gods. I remember some of their names. Nyarlathotep, Sothogua, Yogsothoth, and many others. And then the knife plunged into my chest. And so I woke up as I am now. Yes, a spirit. Funny. I forgot my name in the year this happened, but not those evil names. After I died, the patients were tired of the abuse, and a riot took place. I won't tell you much more about that, other than the doctor got what he deserved. Now, go up the stairs. You're doing great. Just keep listening to my story. After all that, the place was abandoned, and then they moved in. Those things that were trying to kill you. Those demons. They attack and harass the other spirits here, but for some reason, they keep away from me. I guess I'm just lucky. He's going to kill you. One day, this strange man entered this building. Hair black as pitch, glowing red eyes, and very sharp teeth. As soon as he came in, he took out a rifle of some kind and went to town on the demons. I've never seen anything like it. 
Of course, the demons came back. And now they kill travelers and stupid teenagers who want to prove themselves to their friends. Even after I tell them to run. Okay, and to the right. Here we are. Yes, this was his office. You're probably the smartest person to come in here. You know that. You listened to this story when others panicked. Go get some rest. They're much less powerful in the morning. I'll stand watch.